there's a cute little packet of um, like notes that are sticky. It says tis the season on it. That's so cute. little hello welcome card and then here we have it um, I love the gold um, spiral I love that the covers back and front are laminated um, it just says 2023 home planner and when we open it up we've got our little um, ruler guide it's cute and the colors on it are cute that can clip into the um, coils and then it's labeled on the side with the dividers that are blue that have gold foil January all the way down to December we have a couple sheets of stickers that I think are so pretty I'm not a sticker user in my planner I tend um, not to remember to use them or whatever but they are cute so um, this is kind of um, it says helpful hints at the top it's kind of just suggestions for um, how you could best use what they've put in it um, and kind of a breakdown just explaining um, the method behind what they put in the planner. There's a spring cleaning checklist for you to do for your entire house, your kitchen, bathrooms and bedrooms, and then other areas. A yard and home maintenance checklist. A checklist to follow if you have company coming to stay with you. These are both vacation lists and they kind of have them broken down um, by the things that you should do pretty far ahead of time, what you should do within the week, um, and what you should do the day of. Here's a Christmas checklist and another Christmas checklist. There's a home project schedule, personal goals for each month, um, a monthly checklist right here, just things that you might want to do on a monthly basis, and then all of the months laid out for you to check it off. There's a bill payment schedule, a home project list if you want to kind of write down some dream things you want to do, financial goals for the year, a couple pages of notes. A whole year spread and a whole next year spread for 2024. I love these um, scriptures in the front of each, um, on the front like tab for each month. Notes specifically for the month of January before you get into um, the monthly layout. And we can look at the month that's coming up so we can get a peek for February and write notes here and then obviously lay it out. I, I do like that this planner starts on Sunday. We observe the first day of our week as Sunday, so um, planners that start on Monday kind of throw me off a little. I like that this one's on Sunday. And then when we go to the weekly view, we can see at first at the top um, kind of just some task lists that we could check off every single day, Sunday through Saturday. Um, There's a view of some of those. And then um, starting with each day, so like here's Sunday here, um, there are some suggested tasks. You could put what you wanna have for your meals. Um, 
any money that you've spent and I guess whatever else you may want this to be, be it exercise or whatever. And then you've got um, the lines for the tasks that you need to get done for that day. And that continues on for each day of the week. You have a similar layout with different tasks. Okay, there's like one, a one week view. I'm gonna get to the end of the month. So the, that the weekly view goes through the same, the tasks and things just change. And if you notice, there was um, some scripture reading for each day. Then when you get to the end of the month, you've got a budget worksheet to break down your budget for January, um, what you hoped to do and what you actually did to see um, side by side comparison and if there were any discrepancies or anything, I think this is super help, super helpful for people who are budget minded. Um, it's in the place of their planner instead of having another place for it. Um, I won't go through every single month like that. Obviously, you would know what to expect, but I will show the cover of each a month because that's just fun to see. Each of them has a scripture written on it. I just think those are so beautiful. And when we get to the end of December, we have several pages of notes in the back. And then there's also this, um, it's attached into the coil. It's a folder that's double-sided. Um, just a little pocket back here. And then your lap laminated back cover again. I loved this leaf print. Um, Anyway, that's an overview of the Passionate Penny Pincher 2023 Home Planner. I love this, I'm so excited. We are budget-minded, we keep up with our budget. I'm a huge checklist type person, so the checklists for spring cleaning and home projects and all of that really just resonates with me. Um, and I love just a very basic outline for my day-to-day -day plans, not anything that necessarily has like times listed on it or anything. I just like to write out what I need to do. If I do have like an appointment or something at a very specific time, that'll be the first thing I write for that day just so that it stands out to me. Um, and then obviously I would write it on my monthly view as well. Um, but I love the layout of this for each day. I love that there's a separate section for the money that we either spent or saved for that day and for our um, meal planning and then like your cleaning tasks and stuff that doesn't have to be part of what you write here. Um, I think that's so cool. So I love this planner. I'm so excited to use it. I will link um, this planner down below so that's easy for you to find if you're interested in purchasing one for yourself for next year. Thanks for watching y'all. See you next time.